Shalom and happy Hanukkah, Cypress College. I'm Brian Perrin. And I'm Vincent Lee. Welcome to the December 6th edition of Cisco. Now that Thanksgiving is over, the associations are holding another donations drive for the holiday season. They were collecting small gifts that include coats, blankets, books, scarves, hats, and many other items. Donations may be dropped off at the Students' Activity Center from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. till December 12th. Those donations will be distributed by AAS to convalescent homes on December 13th. AAS is also planning to hold a discussion regarding Proposition 92 in the Humanities Building, Room 131, on January 22nd, 2008. Prop 92 is intended to lower tuition fees for community college students by potentially raising the California budget deficit and will be on the February 2008 ballot. On December 3rd at 11.03 a.m., a fire alarm went off in the Humanities Building. Campus Safety dispatched three officers immediately to investigate the building. They found no fire and no certain cause of what triggered the fire alarm. There is a possibility that a glitch in the system set it off. The fire alert system recorded that a pole station had set off the alarm, although there is no physical evidence that anybody actually triggered the pole station. By 11.09 a.m., faculties and students had evacuated the building. Later in the afternoon on Cypress College Drive, at around 5.50 p.m., a two-vehicle accident was reported by campus safety involving a PT Cruiser and an Acura near parking lot one. Both vehicles involved were facing each other at the scene. Shirley Smith of campus safety said that one of the vehicles was most likely driving the wrong way as Cypress College Drive is only a one-way street. Cypress College's Department of Music's Electronic Music and Recording Program presented an originally scored version of the 1926 movie Metropolis on December 3rd. The film is set in the year 2026, where society has been divided into two groups, the thinkers and the workers. This original score was composed by students of the Electronic Music 1 class, taught by George Wheeler. For more on that, here's Kevin Newberger. Kevin? Okay, so George, um, you were just telling me, actually, can you tell me again why you chose, chose this movie? Um, some years ago, I can't remember, it was three or four years ago, I was in Austin, Texas at the South by Southwest Conference, and I saw, I don't remember the name of the group, but it was a, a jazz improv group, and they were playing live to the Metropolis movie, and it was, I thought it was very impressive. And when I started putting something together for this class, um, a lot of times we pull video clips from different movies, you know, even Matrix or or things like that, um, Ocean's 12 or whatever. But I thought that this class would be fun to try to actually f score a film, a full film, and so that just came to my mind right away. Okay, well it's a huge undertaking. Do you think, how do you think the students handled it? Oh, I was very impressed. It was a very difficult, I mean, if you do, uh, if you're a film composer and you're given a regular film, 45 minutes of film is a lot. Yeah. And these students successfully, I think, created two hours of music for this film. It was very impressive. Okay. Well, I, I agree. I thought it was very impressive. Um, I don't know if you know, but I go to a lot of uh, concerts actually now. I'm, I'm a freq frequent concert goer. And uh, a lot of bands are actually doing what you talked about in that they, they play live footage behind them or on, to the side of them on stage and they'll be jamming live or even filming themselves with someone mixing the footage live. So I think it's, uh, it's very cool. Do you, do you see yourself doing, uh, taking that direction with the class? Um. I don't know if, because it's an electronic music class, I don't know if we could um, get too much live performance going on, but we're, we're thinking about it. I've been talking to uh, Dr. Reed, the music uh, department chair, mm -hmm. and we're trying to figure out, how, figure out a way to incorporate the two classes so that maybe her vocal jazz students can come and perform with our electronic scores live or something. I think that's kind of what's on the table right now. So we might do that next semester or maybe next year. Great. Well, it sounds like uh, you got a lot of things going on and the class is very open-minded. So if you're interested in Electronic Music 1, um, I suggest you come and take the class. It seems like a fun class and you can definitely follow that up with the second class as well. So thank you very much, right. George. Yeah, thank you. Great job. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks, Kevin. Dental hygiene services are available on campus at Cypress College and are open to anyone, including students on campus. The dental hygiene clinic offers teeth whitening strips, teeth cleaning, x-rays, and sealants. They do not do cavity fillings or tooth restoration. Their office is located in room 305 WR in the Tech Ed 3 building. For more information, call Carol Green at 714-484-7292.
Well, that's going to do it for the Cypress College Campus News. Right now, we're going to swing it back to Kevin for a look at Cypress College Sports. Kevin? Okay, thanks, Brian. We're going to start off with men's basketball. We don't have too much to report. The Cypress headed to Chaffee College last Friday to open the Grossmont Tournament. After losing to Chaffee two weeks ago, Cypress was looking to even it up, and they did, walking away with a 100-95 victory. Eric Butler and Khalif Boyd helped drive the Chargers, scoring 24 and 21 points, respectively. The Chargers then, excuse me, on Saturday, Cypress Charger Dwayne King led the Chargers in the second round of the Grossmont Tournament with 18 points and 3 assists. But that wasn't enough to pull a win against Southwestern. Cypress narrowly missed pushing overtime with a final score of 79-76 to this past Saturday. Going after third place against Grossmont themselves, Cypress then gained an early lead. However, the guys lost it shortly before the end of the first half and were unable to come back for the win, losing 78-72. to The men fall to 4-6 and six overall. They next face Oxnard, who is 3-8 coming off a loss to Glendale to open the new tournament in Santa Barbara today at 9 p.m. Moving on to women's basketball, the Lady Chargers hosted their home opener for the first round of the 24th annual Cypress Charger Classic this past Friday against the American River. Kajara Jolly led the Chargers with 11 points, and Cypress gained their first win of the season with a final score of 70-64. to Having won five straight Charger Classic tournaments, the ladies faced 11th ranked Palomar, looking for a sixth. However, scoring on only two of 34 attempts in the first half proved to be an insurmountable deficit to come back from. The ladies gave up the win with a final of 81-36. Squaring off on Sunday, the Chargers were looking to grab third after a crippling loss on Saturday. They started off quick, gaining a 12-0 lead, and, that took, and they took that to the bank casually, taking third with an 88-65 victory. The ladies improved to 2-6 on the weekend. Next up, Cypress will head to Long Beach on Thursday, December 13th, to face the Vikings at 6 p.m. And that's going to do it for sports and the sports cast this season. Back to you, Brian. Thanks, Kevin. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Cisco, as well for this semester. On behalf of the Cypress Chronicle Newsroom, I want to wish you all good luck on your finals, a uh, happy holiday season, and a very happy new year. Before we go, I'd like to thank our staff, uh, Kevin Newberger, our sports anchor and entertainment editor. Come on over, Kevin. Come on up, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. All right. I would also like Thanks. to spend a very, much, uh, very special thank you to our producer, Jeffrey Miguel, for all his hard work and everything he's done this year. Come on up, Jeff. Also, I want to thank to all our volunteers and anchors for production this, to make this show possible, like Sandra. We had L'Oreal come up. We had Tori, didn't we? Tori, yeah. Tori, yeah. Tori Sabrina. Paul Bennett. Paul. It was great. And Mary Sam. Mary yeah. Sam. Yeah. Everyone was also on there. It was Jose. Jose did Jose some did Jose Jose Castro. You guys forgot me. Ah! Butterfingers. And uh, we had a guy by the name of Peter Flores who went and got coffee for us when we were thirsty. Yeah. So Sabrina right also. Awesome. 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 for all the coffee. Let's not forget yeah. Sabrina. Sabrina helped sub in one week while I was gone. Yeah. 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 Come on, yeah. come on, 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 Oh, Brian Curon. Brian Curon. Oh, Brian Curon, the audio yeah, yeah, yeah. writer. Does the radio show. And the rest of the newsroom, all of our reporters, Aaron. everybody who helped out, we thank you. We thank the audience for watching. Very we'll special thank you to our advertising editor, Saigar. 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 And we want to thank a uh, big special thanks to Jude Prepper, our advisor for the journalism department at yeah. Cypress College. And thank all of you for watching. We'll be back next semester, so. Stay tuned for that. Actually, also, Jeffrey, we got the blooper reel coming up next oh. week on Cycron.com. A blooper reel? A blooper reel. A blooper reel, is, we're going to have a bunch of different outtakes done. A so blooper reel? Yeah. You, you told me you weren't going to do the blooper reel. Well, I am going to do the blooper reel. And oh. Well, I'm not on it, so. I think I, 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 I didn't do my work. I right. be good. There'll be a lot of me. <laughs> There's <laughs> actually a lot of Kevin. There's a lot of me. There's a lot of little bits of. Everybody, so. I'll okay, all right, so check that out. That's going to be up in about a week. week. <laughs> and um, that's, that's it. it. See you next semester. See ya. Have a good one. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.